Hey, this is Mike Addis. Thanks for joining us. It's always our pleasure to bring you these videos. Today we're going to talk about making your own rules and not listening to anyone. That's not exactly true. I mean, you have to listen to everyone. But that doesn't mean you're going to act on the information that you hear or read. These are my rules. I have several rules, but here's, here's some of them. First, read and learn as much as you can about what you are focused on and your goals. Secondly, once you know what you want, then you have to take action. Third, assume responsibility for everything that happens, including the good, the bad, and the ugly, because a lot of that's going to happen throughout your life. Fourthly, if you're wrong, cut your losses. If right, then keep focused in repeating the work over and over again that works. And lastly, never let the outside world move you to change. So I have a very long and sordid history of going through all the process of getting to where I am today. So I'm gonna just give you a little brief story. Please hang in there, it's gonna be worth it. In the end result, I'll give you the details of how you cannot make mistakes and stay out of trouble along the way. So I graduated back in 1975 and I was getting paid about $800 a month from General Electric Corporation, commonly known as GE. They paid me $800 a month, so back then that was worth almost $4,000 a month in, in today's dollars, or about, eh, you could say about $48,000 a year in today's dollars. I left GE 90 days later, went to work for Chrysler Corporation for $1,680 a month. So that's equal to about $8,300 in today's dollars. Okay, so that's about $100,000 a year, just shy of hundred dollars a year. I worked for Chrysler Corporation, became a regional manager. And as a regional manager, you know, I got to drive around in their cars and blah, blah, blah for a couple of years. And I decided this wasn't going to work, and I, and I resigned from them. They put me up in Bangor, Maine. Bangor, Maine is like Alaska. Some of the guys from Bangor used to tell me when they were stationed in Alaska, it was colder in Bangor, Maine than it was in Anchorage. So one winter day, I was sitting at a Chevron station with snow piled up 20 feet up in a place called Machias Port. I called my boss and I quit. Now, don't forget, I quit that job, which was about 100 grand a year at that point, probably making more because that was two years later. When I went back to Boston, my dad told me I was crazy, but my uncle, Uncle Mike, said that I was doing the right thing because he always wanted to do the right thing in his life and he wanted to move to Florida, but he listened to his wife, so he didn't really do what he wanted to do. And by the age of 62, he was dead. He had a massive stroke, so he never realized his dream. Four days after I had landed in Boston, I then took another four to five day trip to San Francisco and there I stayed in California. Moved to Texas, Austin, moved to Las Vegas, up to Seattle, and made some changes in between, but now I'm back in San Diego living near the ocean. Before all that, I decided to become an entrepreneur. That was back in 1978. So I left that Chrysler Corporation job, moved to the West Coast, worked for Prudential, sold some insurance, went to work for Volkswagen, which is the big distributorship Volkswagen of America, and then ended up, after a year there, owning and operating part of a Volkswagen Mazda dealership in Modesto, California. My current situation developed in 1984 and where it still exists today where I decided to go to work for myself. So what's the point of telling you this whole story? The point is, is that I went through many, many changes. Okay, I'm going to tell you where a lot of people make mistakes because I've made hundreds of mistakes along the way and it caused me to lose all my money. I was broke, homeless, kids were coming and going and it was just a, just a nightmare. So here's the five things that I recommend that you do. And I'm hoping my video guy, who's very good at this, will put these out so you can clearly see what they are. Number one, don't repeat the same actions and expect a different result. So that's the Einstein rule. So Einstein said that if you keep doing the same thing over and over again and expect a different result, that means you're crazy. That means you're insane. So don't do insane stuff because I'm very good at doing that. Not anymore, but I used to be. Number two, learn as much as you can and stay focused. Women, if you're a guy, if you're a woman, it could be a guy, you know, depending on where you're at. So women, booze, and the internet and other distractions abound. 
There's all kinds of distractions. Back in the 70s and 80s and 90s, there, were, there weren't as many distractions, but the internet changed all that. Now everything's a distraction. Three, save money. Don't spend it on stupid things that don't make you money. Read my blog at Matt is Cash. Look at my videos about asset income asset producing assets. So the assets that produce income, it's the best way of putting it. Four, the opposite sex has a way of turning you to the dark side. Dump your losers. Check that video out and read my blog. So video is on Mike Addis' YouTube channel on dumping your losers. So you're gonna have people that are gonna hang on you or deals that just turn south that don't work. You gotta get rid of the people that are, that are standing in your way from getting what you want. Line yourself with people that you have agreement with. If you have deals that don't work, you got to get rid of them and start over again. And you can read my blog or look at the video and starting over. I've got all kinds of information out here. I'm just giving you a summation. When you are wrong, stop. This is number five. When you are wrong, stop, evaluate, and change course. You can see my blog on starting over. Now, why do I recommend the blogs? Because the blogs, you can read them. Videos, you know, they, they move kind of quickly, but written word, you can look, you can think about it, you can sit on it. You know, I know a lot of people don't like to read out there. I love to read. But the more you read, the better you'll get at it. And then you have to go over the Warren Buffett rules. Okay, and I'm going to just list you a few of the rules. You can check it on the blog, because I wrote a blog on this one, as I mentioned it again. On earning, never depend on a single income. Make investment to create a second source. Two, on spending. If you buy things you do not need, soon you will have to sell things you do need. On savings, do not save what is left after spending, but spend what is left after saving. Oof, that's a good one. On taking risks, never test the depth of a river with both feet. That means don't jump in and find out the river is 20 feet deep. You want to stick your toe in first. On investment, do not put all your eggs in one basket. And on expectations, honesty is very expensive. Gift. Do not expect it from cheap people. That's one of my favorite. Here's the thing. In this game about doing what it is that you want to do in life, there's a lot of roadblocks. There's a lot of potholes. Sometimes you fall off the edge of the cliff, you know. But if you stay true to what you believe in, what's right for you, and don't let other people tell you what to do so that you end up living your life for them, then I'll tell you, this road is less traveled. Not too many people get on this road. But once you get on your own road, which is the one that's less traveled, then you're going to find out that it's a hell of a lot more fun, a lot more profitable, and you will get what you want if you just stick with it. This is Mike Addis. Thanks for joining us. Don't forget to subscribe. Check out our blog posts and videos and all that stuff. It's our pleasure to bring you these videos. Don't forget to comment. We appreciate it. See you on the next video.